Hello everybody, it's Jay Kitchett from jaysbeard.com. I hope you're doing well today. We are doing another fragrance review from the house of Santa Maria Novella. This is their Mellow Grano scent. Before we jump into the review, if you would be kind enough to smash the subscribe button and the thumbs up button, both of those really help us climb in the algorithm. So we would really appreciate it. So more people get exposed to us for better or for worse. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Mello Grano is the Italian for pomegranate, if I'm not mistaken. And this is their pomegranate scent. Now, the top notes in this, according to various websites, are bergamot, spices and bitter orange. The middle notes are pomegranate, lang lang, and rose. The base notes are oak moss, ladamnum, patchouli, and musk. Now, the notes on the producer's website state, Mellow Grano tells you an enchanting story inspired by 800 years of tradition just waiting to become your story. A journey through the senses evoking the rare sensations of the magic Persia, a hymn to fertility and abundance. Officina Profumo Pharmaceutica de Santa Maria Novella's Mellow Grano fragrance is a bouquet of sweet floral oriental notes. The fragrance summons warm, welcoming sensations and appropriate interpretation of the tree's symbolic meaning. The pomegranate tree spread from Persia throughout the Mediterranean. It embellished many ancient Egyptian tombs, and the pomegranate fruit symbolizes many things. It appears in the Song of Songs, in the Odyssey, and in ancient folklore, emblematic of fertility and abundance. The olfactory family, spicy oriental notes. And again, the top notes are bergamot, bitter orange, fresh spices, the middle pomegranate accord, rose, lang lang, and the base is labdanum, musk, oak moss, and patchouli. I purchased a 1.7 milliliter vial of this from Ades Perfumes in New York City. I've applied this fairly liberally. You can see there's about 40% of the sample that has been used. And I put it on my arms, the back of my neck, a little bit of my hair, and so on. I, it, I put it on about 10 minutes ago, so it's settling down. The alcohol has evaporated. And it really does have a oriental-ish floral scent. It's it's not overpowering. It doesn't smash you in the nose. It's not a beast mode. It's not a choke you out strain, or I should say not a choke you out scent. It's very, I'm not going to use the word subtle, but it's low key. It's nice floral. This is one of those to be discovered scents, not an announcement of yourself scent. Not necessarily for a young person. When I say young person, probably under 35. It's a bit mature, I think, meaning uh, some might, people might say, oh, I mean, it smells like old ladies. Well, no, <laughs> it might, but that's not what I mean. It's got a nice, subtle, florally kind of scent. This is not a clubbing cologne or necessarily a bar hopping cologne. This is for a nice kind of chill evening dinner, a bottle of wine, maybe some Netflix and chill. It's like I say, it's super subtle, very pleasant. I'm definitely picking up the rose, but it's not like a rose in an oud that is really intense. It's definitely more of a floral sense, not earthy barnyard. I'm sitting here just sort of marinating in the scent and it's, it is permeating. Unlike some of the scents from this house that I've tried, it's it's subtle, but it's not really taking a back seat to anybody. It's there. I mean, it's definitely got some projection. How long it would project for or last for, I don't really know how far out it's going to project. I'm going to say maybe a couple of feet based on what I'm smelling right now. Now, I just applied it in the last 15 minutes or so, so it's still pretty fresh. It's pleasant. It's described as unisex. To me, this is more of a feminine scent. I mean, I have no problem wearing it, but it definitely smells more older, sophisticated female. That may be my ageism and my sexism coming through, but I am what I am, as Popeye would always say. It is quite pleasant. It really is. It's not a scent that's going to offend anybody or really startle someone. Some people don't want that. Some people want to shock other people with their scent. That's not how I roll, and I'm sure it's not like a lot of people roll. It's nice. 
It's about, I believe, $100 to $150, depending on where you get it and the quantity. So it's not prohibitively expensive. It's a very classy kind of a smell. There's nothing really unusual or weird or funky about it. It's just kind of a solid, unusual pomegranate scent. The more you wear it, the musk and a little bit of the patchouli starts coming through. And I guess there's some oak moss in there as well. It's a very nice, low-key floral, but not in a cloying, sweet kind of way. It's got a dry, powdery kind of finish to me, and yet it's still percolating in the air around me. I have to think projection is probably a foot to two feet, at least after your initial application of this. And this is a scent that I believe you could probably wear in a... Maybe not totally closed space, but you could wear it in an office. It's not, depending on how much you put on yourself, it's not necessarily going to creep over into your neighbor's cubicle. Or if you drive, it's not, again, depending on how much you apply, it's not going to choke out other occupants of your vehicle. Yeah. As I have said many times, go low and go slow. Give it one spritz or two, see how it works. If you are got the nerve, if you're not feeling anything, put a couple of more on the next time you apply it, sort of work your way up and ask people, ask people that you know, what's, uh, can you smell what's going on? You know, inquire, don't be afraid to ask because that's really sometimes the only way you're going to find out because a lot of times people don't want to share what they think about how you smell. It's a very personal kind of a thing and they're not sure how you are going to take it, particularly if it's a negative kind of a thought. It can be a nice gift for an older mature individual who appreciates the subtlety and the sort of mythology behind the pomegranate because it's a great story. Pom and pomegranates are really awesome fruit. The problem is you got to pick through all the pulp and the seeds are tiny but they are freaking amazing. It's a really a very very unusual kind of a fruit. I hope you were able to get some information out of this. I know there's not a lot on the web with respect to this particular cologne or scent. There's some things, but not a lot. So we're trying to spread the knowledge. If you liked the video, please subscribe and smash the thumbs up button. If you didn't, smash the thumbs down button. Let us have it in the comments below. Tell us what you think one way or the other. In the meantime, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming through and checking us out. Please be kind to your fellow human beings and our four-legged friends. Stay lifted, stay well-groomed, stay smelling good. Cheers, everybody. We will catch you on the next one. We love you.